Welcome back everybody to Shadowrun Returns, Dead Man Switch. Right, Sam's killer, aka Sam's sister Jessica Watts, is in a cult full of unkillable bugs and some pretty weird shit. Let's go around the union and uh, let's talk to everybody that we can talk to and see where we go from there. Let's see what Cody has to say. Cody's face is pale and her voice is low, shaky. What the hell was that back there, man? What the frag was that? Um, let me see. Looks like the Brotherhood is transforming their followers into bugs. And Sam's sister is their leader. If I didn't see it, there is no way I'd believe it. Giant, unkillable bugs. She shudders and shakes it off. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, think of me, okay? I'll be around locked and looted. Uh, will do. Uh, yeah, will do. Absolutely. Okay, later. Very little words to be said there. Now, let's go speak to... Actually, hang on. Let's speak to Cherry. If it's possible. Cherry Bomb is swamped with customers when she catches a glimpse of you. She gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey there, Raytag, what's going on? Uh, hey Cherry, uh, listen, we need to talk about Shane. Shane, what about Shane? Um, it's not good, Cherry. She looks at you in the eye. Just tell it to me straight, Raytag, I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. I can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous, but I thought you should know. My God, Shane. She looks at her customers, then down at the bar top for a long moment before completely composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. She continues, continues processing the information, then she remembers something. Oh hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. He said he's got someone who wants to uh, talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Right. Uh, Johnny Clean freaked out? Okay, sure, I'll talk to him. The wind is out of her sails. Yeah, that'll be Whizzer. Okay. Why as... Okay, that is a bit bizarre. I'm not entirely sure why she's got a diamond. Um, yeah, right there. I don't think I can talk to her again. However, we'll be right back to her, no doubt. John Bartlett. Oh, mate, you're looking to hire some of the best for some common or, or for some common rebel? Uh, well, the best, of course. You got it. Look up the Nephilim Network next time you're hiring. You won't be sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's all I want to know. That's all I really want to know. Mr. Johnson. Hello, Mr. Johnson. The man sizes you up as you approach. His carefully groomed hair and the shine of his shoes seem to be out of place for the barons. Hey, you're looking for work? I got a little something if you're up for it. It's a milk run. Yeah, I'm always up for getting paid. He grins, exposing a set of unnaturally white teeth. Wavy. The job's a simple extraction. The people I represent are interested in acquiring the talents of a scientist named Sadar. Unfortunately, Mr. Sadar is engaged with the Ren uh, Renaku, which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. And you want me to secure Mr. Sadar's freedom to work for your people instead? He flashes his pearly whites again. Exactly, but it has to be now. Renaku is shipping Sadar out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project. Tonight, he's been keep hidden at a research facility out here in the Barrens, just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now. Thinking of that, nobody notices. We don't care about that. We just want it uh, before he's out of our reach. The place should be lightly guarded, so probably uh, so probably rent a cops. 
get in, grab Sadar, and get out. In exchange, I'm authorized to remit 9,000 new yen in payment. He fixes you with a hard stare. I am not, however, authorized to negotiate. Yeah, all right, I'm in. Let's see the new yen. I'm going to need money for the to basically pay the best to uh, go get Jessica, I dare say. We pay on delivery, friend. That's how it always works. I'll send the lab's location to your PDA. Hire a team and head there right away. Liberate Sadar and deliver him to my employees. They'll have a car waiting outside the lab when you're done. Once Mr. Sadar is on his way, meet me back here for payment. Okay, so side quest time. Right. It's interesting that they give you side quests now. When you're like hot on the heels of uh, Sam's killer basically wrapping up the whole scenario. Yo guy, have we met? You look familiar. I meet a lot of people, no problem. You need some brain benders tonight? I've got some of that merc stuff. Freakers, taxi drivers, you know. Uh, okay, let's see what you got. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. I'm not interested in that stuff. Not interested at all. Right, Mr. Clue, let's talk to you. You all right, Raytac? Yeah, I've had better days. I heard you made some trouble with the Universal Brotherhood. Stirred up a hornet's nest, you might say. People are starting to say there's some dark dreck going down in those chapter houses, like they're taking advantage of the poor folk that they've got looking for help. I gotta say, that makes my blood boil. It's bad enough that the government labels half the population as probationary citizens. We don't need more people preying on the defenseless members of society. I hate to bring race in, uh, into it, but it's the fact that there are a good number of people who go, go to the Brotherhood for help are metas like me. But what op options do we have? Do you realise what it would take to get an Act of Congress to make grant me full citizenship? And they have to do it yet to do it once. Wars start more easily than a meta getting a sin in this country. So it's no wonder we turn to people like the Brotherhood, who claim to listen to, to our woes and speak on our behalf. He catches himself, takes a breath, and visibly calm. Sorry. I just know some folks that went to the Brotherhood for the, those very, very reasons. I might have ended up there myself if Mrs. Caputo hadn't taken me in. Whatever's going on there, I'll trust you put an end to it, one way or the other. Yep. Uh, yeah, this isn't, isn't just for Sam anymore. Go get him, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go downstairs. Because apparently Johnny Clean has something for us. Uh, Mr. Delilah? Oh, a quest hand in, maybe? What, you need runners again? Good, I got some new contacts, some primo mercs. Uh, not quite yet, I'll be back. Okay, so that's for the uh, Renaku job. Sarah Castle, what have you got to say to me? For once, Dr. Castle is not utterly absorbed in her work. In fact, she has seems to have set aside whatever she's doing to give you a full attention. Perhaps word is spread about what you've already faced and what is still to come. I'm glad to see you're all right, Raytac. I was afraid that it would be cutting you back to me in pieces. I don't suppose you'd be any good to, to suggest an early retirement, or at the very least, that you might delay whatever is coming long enough to get a decent night's sleep and a full meal? Um... I never knew you cared, Doc. Who said I do? A good cash cow like you only comes over around every so often. You're no good to me, dead. But who am I kidding? I know your type all too well. Words of caution have little worth, and words of prohibition only make you more eager to throw yourself into the fire. You're like children that way. So fine, do what you will. Just let, tell me what I can do to keep you alive that much longer. Uh, so what have you heard, Doc? Well, let's review. In the past few days, I've lost one patient, nearly lost a second. I've also learned that man... Uh, land, uh, that. I also learned a man claiming to be a fellow doctor was responsible for those deaths. 
responsible for the first of those deaths. And now I hear another supposed... My goodness. Now I hear that another supposed force for good has been committing heinous crime acts on innocent men and women. And quite frankly, it's almost enough to make a woman to give up on the whole human race. But then I remember why I don't. I remember how many innocent lives Mrs. Kabuto has saved by giving them place and purpose here at the Union. I remember the seemingly useless waste of flesh like Paco ris risking their lives to save ones they love. I remember that some people are still willing to stand up against those who would seek to do harm to others. And that's the real reason you won't hear me argue against your chosen course of action, because I agree that it must be done. I only hope it can be done without any more innocents coming to harm. Uh, if I could make that deal, I would. Then do the next best thing. Put an end to this. You betcha. I'd like to wake up in a world one short, short one less evil. Now, how can I help make that happen? Um... I might need to look at your medical supplies. And I have... Oh man, I nearly... I really need to go on that other run. I thought I spent all my money on that last one and... Whoa, whoa, holy crap. Well, let's uh, go around the room, shall we? Talk to Johnny. Johnny is hunched over his desk, idly fiddling with the cyber deck. He seems preoccupied. He looks up when you approach, eyes narrowed. Been making new friends out there? Um, could be. I just rescued a teenage elf girl from some evil cultists. He shakes his head. I'm not sure what I want to know, but that's not what I'm talking about. Someone's been asking about you on the... Sh on the sh on, I was about to say on the Shadowlands, on Shadowlands, calls himself Bar Baron S Samadhi. He's been a distinctive icon, skull face with a top hat. I can't tell you what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I wouldn't ignore this if I were you. Deckers have a way of making people's lives miserable if they're so inclined. So this Baron character, what do you know about him? Johnny, Johnny's janitor persona is gone, replaced by something colder, more dangerous. I did some checking, but I didn't get much because he's new on the scene. He's no Wilson, though. He's got a rep as a Drek, he's got a rep as a Drek hot wire boy, from what I hear. Never rides along with the physical entry teams, though. Purely remote work. And Samadhi, what's that? Baron Samadhi is the name of a, a lower or a. Hayatan Voodoo Spirit. He sits at the crossroads of the living and the dead. I've never heard of a spirit in the Matrix before. I've been around a long time and I've seen a lot of avatars running around the tricks. A lot of them. You ask me, it's just some guy trying to look scary to make a name for himself. Think of it as a personal branding. How long has he been looking for me? He's been spamming Shadowlands for the last hour. I'd say he's... New on the scene, but everyone's talking about him. Even the hottest deckers like Dodger are saying that he's a force to be reckoned with. I guess he's not the patient type. Something I should know? Uh, could be. I'll tell you after I talk to him. Alright. I know what the Shadowlands is. The Shadowlands is virtually the uh, Matrix, but anyway, we'll go through it. It's where the shadow community talk, goes to talk about anything shadowy. Uh, who's planning what projects, who's hiring, which corp is screwing which, anything that sh affects shadow runners and how they make money. It's where I go to see if I can pick up any dirt about you. Uh, know anything about giant magical indestructible bugs? Is that a joke? Uh, no, I saw one underneath the Universal Brotherhood about an hour ago. Bigger than a troll. What do you mean indestructible? As in, I couldn't kill it. <laughs> from what are you, from whatever it is you've gotten yourself into, Raytac, you're in it deep. From what I hear, the Brotherhood has members in high places, government, corps, uh, law enforcement. You be careful, Chama. All right, that's enough talk. I need to talk to the Baron. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'll let you hit your ride into the Matrix again. You, I've already set you up a portal in the Shadowlands. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're in as Mr. Clean. Okay, confirm. Jacked in. 
Bonjour, mon ami. I am pleased that we have a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guys like your friend Johnny, though. You cannot trust everyone you meet in the Matrix. Um, everyone in the Shadowlands knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? Summer D wishes to thank you for saving Marie Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If harm would come to her, he is not know what he would do. He has also offered offers you his help. The insects you encountered, they are something, no? Something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There is much at stake. Summer D knows that you are after this woman, Jessica Watts for your own reasons. He can help you to get to this woman and defeat her bugs. And hypothetically, how would we do that? The job would not be simple, nor would it be straightforward, but Summer D can guarantee it will be dangerous. Telstra and Industries have been working for two years on a formula, codename Aegeus. They are working with another corporation, a foreign com foreign com corporation, to refine it. This is their third attempt to get it right, and they believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Unfortunately, their manuf manufacturing plant in the uh, Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It would have been a corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. It sounds like something that might have been worth a lot of new yen. Oh, it is worth a great deal, mon ami, a great deal. You see, it kills bugs. Big ones. Like the ones you met at the Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring the Watts woman to justice, you'll need a GS. Well, okay. And it so happens, Summer D knows where the last sample of Aegeus has been kept. Hence, the job at hand. We're going to break into the Telstra and Industries primarily, primary operations com office complex here in Seattle. Aegeus will be somewhere within that building. We'll find a Aegeus sample and liberate it for ourselves. So you want me to break into the most influential corp in the Pacific Northwest. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you've got to be joking. Would that I were, but it is the only way. It is the only place to get what we need. But take heart. You will have Summer D with you, and he is clever in the ways of the Matrix. We cannot lose. So will you do this thing? Will you ally with Baron Summer D? Uh... Let me see. I've got a job to do. If this is a means to that end, I'll do it. Yes, you have a code you follow. It's all about the job, eh? There is nobility in this. Therefore, you must bring a decker with you. This is vital. What about you? You're not coming with? Oh, I've got eight grand. Ho oh, ho. Samadhi will be a part of this evening's events, but must remain remote. You will keep all of Seattle law enforcement off and off-duty tel Telstra and security away while you can locate the information we need from inside. Alright, and what about the on-duty Telstra and security? The ones that will shoot me as soon as I step into the lobby. Ah, the Baron will handle that as well. Telstra and guards will be rerouted throughout the building. With the right timing, no one will ever know you're there. But of course, even Baron Samadhi cannot anticipate all possibilities. So tonight, you must all use all your contacts to excuse me, hire a team and travel to the Telstrian office complex downtown. You'll be contacted again when you have gained entrance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll just exit. Johnny whistles a long, slow whistle. Holy crap. Telstrian and Industries. You've hit the big time, chum. You're going to need a serious decker for this one. Fortunately for you, I know one of the best. And that means you, right? No, I'm an inside man and I'm not an inside man anymore. My running days are over. There's an elf who owes me a favor. He goes by Dodger. You may have heard of him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle. And this is me saying it. I'll get you his contact information. You'll know him by the way he talks. 
he's like a damn Charles Dickens novel. All right. So. Let's have a little chat to Dave, maybe. Hey, what's up? I need some new gear. Uh, no, he's just a good deck of crap. Doesn't work for me. Uh, TB Grubman, he's got some good gear, though. Interesting, yeah, so I'll take a look. Okay. Weapons, weapons, weapons. Any melee weapons. Hand forged katana. Oh yeah. Damage five. Dragon sword. <gasps> uh no. I can just afford this though. Oh, I can't afford it. Yeah. Oh yes. Confirm. Right. So we'll unequip the katana and we'll equip the dragon sword. Holy cow. Doesn't do any AP damage though. But that extra point of damage might come in handy. Just very well might. I'm just I'm looking for the big crit hits to basically kill. Right. Um confirm. Right, I'm guessing that Eric's got potentially got some more armor for me. Hey guy, I got some armor clothing. Yeah, yep, yep. Let's take a look. High grade street armor. Oh. Yes, please. Confirm. Slick, man. Real slick. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> He's a major. I've got no, no use for him. Right. <laughs> Now, now, if I put in a, jo uh, a team for the Renaku lab, I'll get paid for that. Then I can put a team to get the Telstra lab. Yeah, we'll go cheap on this one. Cody, Cody is cheap. Um, yeah, we'll we'll take her. Uh, anybody else that I could possibly? Drag up. Okay, uh, we're gonna need. I'm gonna need a shaman. Pure and simple. I need a shaman. This one actually looks pretty decent. It's got slow, got haste, silence is pretty good, damn good too. Shadow creates a shadow zone, and the character cannot be targeted or target others. Last for three rounds. Yeah. Yeah, we'll t we'll take uh, Shani Bay and a mage would be fantastic. Wow, what's the Nephilim network prices like? Cheap as hell. Really. Uh, Alexander, we've had Alexander before. He's actually pretty damn good. Yep, we'll take him. And we've got a bit of uh, money left over, so that's actually pretty cool. Our total cost four grand. I got, yeah, I have two grand left over. I'll get paid eight for this job. Yep, let's go do this one. And then we'll hit Telstrian uh, Industries after that. And see how we go. 
Corporate extraction. You leave Touristville behind and make your way into the Barrens proper, exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, the little order that exists falls away, taken over by anarchy and in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, and even media influence disappears, leaving an urban, feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet, hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renaku uh, Computer Systems has hidden some uh, some sort of R and D research, probably to take some advantage of some old tech left over the uh, Shinwazi uh, nuclear power plant meltdown or, or the crash that decimated the computer industry in twenty nine. You find your way into the lab. The place has uh, definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you, just the ones made of meat. Maybe you can help the scientists make a life change. Continue. Right, we should be able to do, uh, get through this one pretty well. Confirm. Right, game's autosave, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Show me the karma. What can I increase? I can't... Actually, I can't increase much. So, there we go. Swords are us. <laughs> Alright, Katie, Katie's first up. Alright, let's see. Whoa! Hey, Drek! Ray Ray, um, we're actually going to wait and we're going to get some haste happening. There we go. Ray's got haste now. Uh, she's got one more move left. She's going to post up next to that door. Okay, back to Ray. Ray can get there in two. And snort the living hell out of this guy. Okay, Pommel Strike, AP damage, no, not really. Cleave. No, that's thrust. Minus 15% to hit. Well, we're going to try, try for the first one. Oh, holy crap. Okay, we'll go for the second one. Ha ha ha, one down. Uh, Cody has got two turns left, so we're going to go here and we're going to put her on Overwatch. Alexander, I'll post you up over here. I uh, can't do any Overwatch with you, sadly, but with the turn he's got left, I'm going to cast Armor on Ray. Right, and Ray, okay, now we're back to Ray's turn, okay, we're going to make a full dash for it, there's nothing in here, there's nothing in here at all, okay, it's going to make it two turns, I don't want to open the door yet, Right. Bring Cody down here. Our mage. That's two turns, three turns. Yep. We're going to hit this nice and quick. And in for three. Right, open the door. Okay, I got three turns left. I can get up and do his grill in two. Oh, uh, Lone Star Guard, okay. Oh, I missed, damn it. Holy crap. Alright. I can get over there in two. 
fist. Yeah, take the infield. Oh, come on, really? Okay, I can get up there in two. And what can we do? Mm, cat totem. Right. I could cast a slow. Which will would help. Um Alright, okay, this is gonna get actually really, really nasty. I'm gonna put a lightning barrier. Up in here. So this guy, if he wants to come in, he's gonna have to come in through a lot of no like uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> damage. Was what I'm trying to say. All right, spells. Uh, disintegration, maybe. Yeah, we can armor. Right. Ouch. Okay, he's, he's taken a bit of damage, but uh, he's alright. Alright, for the time being. Alright, we're going to go for a surefire hit because I really need to get these guys basically taken care of. 15 regular damage, nice. Crit. And a death. Excellent. Cody. Wow. Major crits. Oh, come on. One more. Really? Seriously? Right. What can we do here? Can't do haste. Not yet. Silence is not to uh, not a thing. We're just going to sh we're just going to try and shoot this guy. One and three. Right, Alexander. I don't think spell wise you're a support, so I can't really do much with you. Actually, we're going to throw a haste on Coyote. So Coyote has another turn, and we're going to chuck a power bolt. Good. Excellent. Oh shit, from behind. Where the frag did he come from? Alright Ray, come on. We're gonna do more damage. Oh, nice crit, nice crit. Another, another guy down. Right. Twenty. Uh, nice. Oh, come on, stop missing. Another one down. Oh, line of sight blocked. Damn it. Uh, Overwatch this way. Alright, you're gonna come up into here. And what am I gonna do? <laughs> Shadow. I would. Hmm. Can't really use her that well. Honestly, line of sight blocked. Can't even do Overwatch either. Okay, we're going to put you up into here, and we'll just end turn with you. Alright, you... 
heal yourself, actually armor yourself. And heal yourself. And get the hell out. What's this? Terminal has been left unlocked with root access. Uh, dig through the files. There are some log files that recently accessed in an encrypted research da database. Uh, okay, we've got the shipment of entries from the Shinaxi today, eight of them, all told. They're medicated daily with a sedative to prevent their gaze from affecting us. Uh, and they don't try and escape or bite the equipment either. We just have to keep them adjusting doses so we can get the valuable co uh, combat data out of them. Okay. Having something as deadly in the lab always gets me on edge. One wrong dose in those meds and someone will lose an arm. That or the other guys upstairs will just lock the doors and let the damn things eat us. Wow. Week two of the reaction test trials finished today. Several of the subjects have an uncanny intelligence. They have no problem with solving logic puzzles ahead of schedule. The Awakened Society Entries Project has reached the final testing stages. Preliminary human ex experiments will begin in the next six months. We have already discussed the matter with the uh, tier. Okay, t too bad I don't didn't bring a dagger. Walk away from the terminal. <laughs> oh, Drek. Okay, Ray Ray. It's time to come up and dispense some justice. That's 30. Let's come up from here. Oh, still 70%. Really? Out of ammo. Yep. Okay. Reload. Confirm. Uh, Overwatch through here. Huh. It doesn't seem to be anybody in here. They must be all coming from behind. They came from behind. The smell hits you like a fist, a tang of blood, the funk of animal foul, animal foul and something else. Something is wrong. Oh, shit. All right. Um, our magey friend, I'm going to put you up in here. We're not going to open the door yet. Ray, come up in here. And open the door. Okay, uh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm actually going to sit in Overwatch. Okay, she's got two more turns. That'll give me cover. You morons just shot up a Renekou research lab. Have you ever heard, he, ever hear of the Renekou? Um... This is job. This is just a job to me, Merlin. You beat my price, price and you live. Nah, fuck that. Um, come on. Yeah, they're a company who's about to show their loss on their balance sheet. I have a fragging herd of basilisk, idiot. You think you're going to need a lot more guys? Right. Why don't you go straight up in the cover? I don't know. Silence. Is this an area effect or... Well, it only takes one turn to cast, so... Maybe line of sight was blocking me. Uh, 
Hang on. The target of the silent spell makes no noise for four rounds. Or oh, makes no noise. What? Cancel. <laughs> yep, let's raise an, abom an abomination. Why the hell not? It's only got one turn. That's alright. Soak up the overwatch. <laughs> um, uh, she's already got haste though. Only one turn left too actually. Can't cast it anyhow. Now can I cast... No, apparently not. Hmm. Cast a lightning barrier though. Not that it's gonna matter much. Alexander. Oh, there's a ley line there. Get it. All right. Um. What can we do with you? We can do health. We can also get a fire barrier. Yep, why not? Well, that kept them busy. here smack this guy wow um hmm yep that's a thing she's got grenades uh aoe2 Looks like a good throw. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, come on, really? Okay, we'll go with this guy. Right. Yeah, I think we're going to dump a haste on Ray. That should give him another attack at least. So a dispense of one guy. And we're gonna slow the basilisk. Right. Could do a heal, could do an accuracy. Actually, we're just going to do mana bolts. Nine points. Missed. Oh, ouch. Okay, he's throwing up a heal. All AP lost. Oh shit. Alright. We're gonna have to do something really, really tricky. Right, you're gonna have to try and kill these things. Fifteen. Fifteen. 
I need a crate. Thank you. Ask and thou shalt receive. Um, yeah, there's no missing now. <laughs> Good. Uh, I can't chuck a grenade. Damn it. 74% chance. Oh, very good. Nice hit. Nice hit indeed. Okay, you're going to heal thyself. No, I can't. You're going to heal her. And again. <laughs> no, I can't. Damn. Actually, we're going to chuck, chuck some armor on her. And then, after that, hmm. Nah, we're just going to chuck a power bolt. Now. Yeah, we're just going to try and pistol this guy to death. You know what you gotta do. Good, actually that was a good hit. Uh, okay, one more should do it. Yeah! Sick. Um, two turns? No. We're gonna run up for one turn and shoot this mage. Oh, come on. There we go. Very good, very good indeed. Can't do any overwatch, sadly. I can do a slow or... Cat totem. Because, why not? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna chuck some armor on good old Ray down here. Ray's going to use his full movement, and we're gonna pull an Overwatch. Cody is going to come up into here and also pull an overwatch. Can't hit that guy quite yet. But we can actually put a lightning barrier up. Because that's gonna, probably gonna, what's going to happen. Alright, move up in there. Um, yep. Seems like a thing. Okay, and we're going to end turn. So, Basilisk is... Well, actually, this is a problem now. Because that's going to electrify me. Yep. Ouch. Right. Um, coyote. Twenty damage, nice. <laughs> it would have been even better if it had crit. Right. Now 
And dead. Awesome. Okay, is there anything interesting in here? Nope. Uh, Sada? The scientist looks absolutely bewildered. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Are you Sada? What if I say no? Then you'll end up just like them. And then, yes, 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 I'm Sada. Well, you're from As Technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. Well, whoever sent me here is definitely interested in you. So that's it, you're just going to hand me over to them? Jesus, these people, listen to me. Whoever you are, I know you. I'm a wage slave. I get it, but I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All you do is transplanting me from one corp to another so I can be employee for life. Shouldn't I have something to say about this? Um... Nah, code of honor, man. They paid me. Um, code of honor of a shadow runner or code of honor as a person? Of course, if you have uh, somebody say if you can beat their price. <laughs> um, yeah, I mm, am I am I that much of a scumbag? No, I can't beat that. Renicu froze my personal funds while I'm here for security. All I have on me is five thousand. Let me go, and it's all yours. Um, sorry, no, you're coming with me. I need the nine grand, sorry. <laughs> I need the nine grand. Oh, well. He's going back to being a wage slave for another corporation. Because I need the money for Sam Sam's justice. Right, Mr. Delilah, let's go down and talk to you. That's Mr. Johnson. Why am I going back to Delilah? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. What, you need runners again? I got some new contacts. Uh, not quite yet, I'll be back. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to remember who. It was a Mr. Johnson, I believe. That I had to go hand that one in. Mr. Johnson. My people tell me you delivered the package. Yep, and it wasn't a milk run. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Here's a cred stick. You'll find the appropriate compensation and it will. Is all there. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Yes, I needed the nine grand. I am a scum lord. Alright. We're going to get ready for the next run, which is the Tesla something. The Tesla Place Corporation, whoever it is. We're going to do a run on that next episode. Alright folks, if you've liked this episode and uh, liked the series, do, do go ahead and click that like button for me. And of course, if you're interested in anything else I've done in the past, do go ahead to the uh, playlists in the, on the side there. Alright folks, well I've been Ray Tech, I shall see you next time.